So today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup routine with mascara makeup. So this is the mascara makeup. It comes in this compact and it's all cream based product. These are all cream. I originally filmed this video a couple, maybe a month ago when I received the makeup and I filmed an unboxing, I filmed like my first impressions, my first time using the makeup without ever like having any kind of instruction and my, it just didn't turn out. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. My son was in here, he was making a mess and it just, it just didn't turn out as I wanted it to. So I will say that using cream products, like when I first used this, I seriously did not know what I was doing and it gives you, it comes with a little card that shows you where to put each product but even that it just it was hard to maneuver it was hard to just figure out the best way to use it since I've been playing with it for about a month now I've kind of found the best way that I can use it for me I also mix in other products that are not mascara use like my primer I use my concealers because I do have some blemishes and the first couple of times that I've used the makeup I didn't I don't know if I just wasn't doing it well enough to where it was like covering my blemishes so I did need to use some concealer but my mascara artist her name's Caitlin I will have all of her information down below if you want like a color match if you are interested in the makeup I will say that it is an investment um, the makeup is pretty pricey when you first purchase, but when you run out of things, it's it's very affordable and free shipping, which is, you can't beat free shipping. So you can always get in contact with an artist who's local and see if they can do like a makeover on you. Me and Caitlin were originally going to do this when we lived in the same town, but we just, we never, we never did it. So I just went ahead and just got the makeup because I've seen testimonials, I've seen videos, I know a couple people who sell mascara, and since I love makeup and I love trying new makeup and whatnot, I really wanted to try it and film a video. So I'm going to just kind of show you how I do my mascara makeup. I have my compact and I don't know the names of like my shades. I will figure it out and put it in the description box below. So these two colors are lip and cheek. So you can use them for your cheeks and you can actually use them as like lipstick. This is my, would be like my foundation shade. So this is my foundation shade. They're called highlighters, but this is my foundation shade. And this is like my highlighting shade to where I highlight under my eyes. I put it down my nose, a little on my forehead and a little bit on my chin just to brighten those areas a little bit. This is bronzer. I think this is the Bella bronzer and it's cream. It's a cream bronzer. And then this is my contour. And then they do have a setting powder and then they do have an illuminator. And this is a cream illuminator. And if I remember correctly, I think they have powder highlighters, like illuminators for highlighting your cheekbone up here. But I'm actually gonna be using my own highlighter because I really like my highlighter a lot and there's just certain products that are not mascara that I will be using. But I already did my eyes. I do have um, mascara eyeshadow, but with the look that I was going for today, I didn't want to use it because they have more of like purpley, mauve undertones and colors. So I didn't want to use those today. So I'm going to just prime my face with the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Primer. This is one of my favorite primers that I have. And so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, there is another mascara artist that I follow. Her name is um, Chandler. And she goes in with her bronzer first. I tried that out the last time that I used this makeup and I actually kind of liked the result. I don't know if it really did much to me, but we're just going to do it. So they do have brushes that you can purchase. I think the brushes are around $30, but they're double-ended and they're actually very good quality brushes. And they do recommend using the brushes with their makeup since it was designed for their makeup. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go in with my bronzer. Just tap it and swipe it and get some product. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to bronze my face up. Okay, so now that I've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm going to put some concealer down first before I go in with like my foundation shade. And then I'm just gonna 
be taking a damp sponge and just pressing it in to my skin. Okay, so now that my um, concealer is concealed, I'm going in with this brush. It's got two sides, so basically the same brush, but one's just a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go in with my foundation shade, which is this color. Don't know the name of it. But I'm gonna press it in. And sometimes I use a little bit too much, but I like a full coverage look. If you order mascara and makeup, it comes with a card to tell you where to place your products, your cream products. So with the highlight shade, which is the foundation shade that I'm using right now, you only apply it here, 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 and like here. Like where you would like want your foundation to be shown. Here is where we're gonna be doing contour. And then, I so I always do my foundation shade under my eyes and then I go over with my lightest shade. So I'm just going to be pressing this in to my skin. I find it best when I press it in. I mean, if swiping does the job for you, then by all means, swipe away. But I like to just press it into my skin. And also this makeup, if I wasn't talking and I was really focused on getting my makeup done, it's really fast and it doesn't take, it does not take very long. And that's also kind of the reason behind this makeup. Everything is just in one compact. Like your whole face can be in one compact, like, which is super nice and super convenient, especially for whether you're like a full-time mom and you've got kids that just will not let you get ready, which, you know, is my son. Or if you're running late, I just think this is just a great, I think it's a great product, but I really just love how natural this makeup is and it really brings out your features. And I will say that it takes time to get used to this kind of makeup. Like I really struggled the first couple times that I applied this makeup and used it and I'm just like, I don't know what the freak I'm doing. I can't get it to do what I want, but you know that saying, practice makes perfect. Keep playing with the makeup. Okay, so now that I got my main foundation, main highlight on, I'm going in with my smaller side and I'm taking the lightest highlighting shade and I'm going under my eyes, like where I would normally like want my highlight to be. Okay, then I'm just gonna go in with my damp sponge and just press it into my skin just a little bit more just to make sure everything's blended out there's no creases because sometimes with a brush i find on my skin that even if i use a brush i always need to go in with a damp sponge just to make sure that like especially under my eyes because my eye my under eyes crease so bad and so i just need to make sure that i blend it all out so now we're going to contour, which I know contour can be kind of scary because when I first like heard about contour and like, what it was, it kind of intimidated me, but obviously practice makes perfect. Um, so I'm just taking the lightest of the brown shades that I have and going in with the same brush, but the bigger side that I used to do my foundation and just dip it in and you're literally just going to follow your cheekbone. So this side has the bronzer and the contour. This side just has the bronzer. You can still see my bronzer, but this side, it just gives you a little bit more depth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder. And I'm gonna be setting my whole face. So the bronzer that I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Radiance Brick. This is the medium shade. It's got kind of a shimmer to it. I like shimmery bronzers. I like shimmer. I, I like a glowy look.
So now I'm gonna go into blush. And I actually picked up a new little blush palette from Walmart. This brand is Profusion Cosmetics. They are more on like the cheaper side, but I've heard good things about them. This was $5 comes with all these really pretty um, blush shades and then it's got like a highlighting shade right here. I'm probably gonna go in with Bliss. All right, as okay, it's really powdery. So don't swipe like what I just did, but all right, let's, let's see. Let's see how good this is. Hmm, it's really pretty. Okay, so I like the Bliss. It is pigmented though. I will say that. Like that's a good thing, but it's just like it's super powdery. And I put my blush a little high. That's lovely. I like that blush. It's a good palette. I'm excited to try all of them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, which I'm just using my Revolution highlighter. I like the white like highlighters. I just think they're so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I will come back. Um, I'm just using my Milani Soft and Sultry palette for my brows. Okay, I got my brows on. Um, the last step is I'm just going to put on a little bit of lipstick and then I'll just set my face. I'm gonna be using my Makeup Revolution Matte Lip Cream in Featured. So then I'm just going to set my face with the Makeup Revolution Sports Fix Extra Hold Makeup Setting Spray. This is one of my favorite setting sprays that I have. All right, so this is the finished makeup look. I love this makeup. Honestly, and I will say this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. When I first got the makeup and I first tried it, I did like it, but I also didn't know how to feel about it. I didn't know if it's something that I could continue to use. But after playing with it for a while and, and talking with Caitlin and getting some advice from her and also watching other artists do makeup tutorials and I, and I played with it more and more, I really, really began to love the makeup. And I don't know if it's just with me and just how I am with makeup in general, but I feel like me adding the other products, which you don't need to do, but that's just me. I feel like it may, I don't know. I feel like it makes me love the makeup that much more. So if you are in the market to purchase mascara makeup, I will leave my mascara artist, Caitlin. I will leave her Instagram below. Also, if you wanna place an order, I will leave a link down below where you can do that as well. This is my, kind of my current routine with mascara makeup. I don't use mascara makeup every day, but it's like been my go-to, especially if I'm like on a time crunch because it's pretty super fast. The only thing that really takes me forever to do is my eyebrows and my eyes. As far as the face goes, it's really simple. It's not that hard to do, so. So yeah, that's today's video. If you have any video recommendations, please leave them down below. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you, bye.